I'm doing one of the great Greek mezeves. Those are the small plates that you share with other people, usually over some wine or ouzo or tsipuro, which is like Greek grappa. This is called shrimp saranaiki, garides saranaiki. It's a dish that's made usually in a skillet or in a special pan. This is the real saranaiki pan with two handles. I'm going to do it in a frying pan because it's what everybody has at home. Shrimps are a great source of protein without much fat. Greeks usually make this dish with the shrimp still in the shell. I want to clean it a little bit because it just looks prettier. I keep the tail on. I take the shell off, basically. And we want to also remove that little black intestine on both sides, which you do like this. You just cut right down the middle. You cut along the underside as well. So we have a nice fresh shrimp, cleaned, but it's still got its tail on. So when we cook it, it looks very pretty. So I'm gonna saute my onions and garlic. Extra virgin PDO Kalamata olive oil for this dish. The first thing I'm going to do is add my onions. I'm just stirring them around. Again, the whole idea here is to sweat them. That's what we want, soft onions. Not necessarily color, just soft. So that means about seven minutes on a low to medium flame. Next, the garlic goes in. Garlic goes into almost every dish that I cook. And again, we just want to soften it. I'm just going to turn it around in the pan, give it a stir or two. And I'm going to add my hot peppers. That's the real secret to this dish. Now you can use red chili peppers, green chili peppers, dried chili peppers, fresh chili peppers. The shrimp have to go in at some point, right? They're gonna go in right now, now that the pepper, the onion, and the garlic are all soft. Now the shrimp, what we want here is a little color, and then we're gonna add our ouzo, our tomato, and our feta at the end. As soon as the shrimp goes into the pan, I raise the heat a little bit because the shrimp has a lot of liquid and we want to get rid of most of it. We want it to be in the sauce, but we don't want the sauce to be very loose. I'm going to add my ouzo. That always goes in before the tomato because I want to cook my alcohol off, basically. But I always move the skillet away from the flame because the ouzo can light up. So you have to be careful. You can always tell when the alcohol has cooked off by the smell. It loses that, that sort of cut, that cutting edge that that aroma has. I can't describe it any other way, but you can definitely know. And we're almost there. The tomato, I'm not going to add too much. Again, we don't want this to be very wet. This dish, however, also can be served over pasta. It's excellent. This is my feta. I'm going to crumble a little bit of it for my sauce. This is what's going to make the sauce creamy and give it that edge that we like. You can do this by hand, you can do it with a fork. It doesn't really matter. What matters is getting Greek feta. Our shrimp sakanaki is almost ready. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. I always add my salt after I add my feta. This feta cheese is salty naturally. So you want to watch that a little bit. A little bit of pepper. And I'm going to add my parsley, finally. And our dish is done. I'm actually going to turn the heat off and just sprinkle it in so we get that nice, fresh green color. Usually, this dish is served in its pan. And it's usually this kind of pan, which we call a saganaki pan. But when you have really beautiful skillets like this one, I just take this right to the table put it on a trivet and serve it from here.